the Lakers better off without Kawhi Leonard after all? You're watching Lakers Report by Chat Sports, all things Lakers. I'm Hannah Keelick, aka Laker Hand. Now, obviously, this summer has really been dedicated to Kawhi Leonard and his free agency decision. And in the beginning, going into the summer, no one really expected the Lakers to be able to sign him. It was rumored that he wanted to go to the Clippers or stay in Toronto or other teams, but no one really thought he was going to be a Laker. However, as the days leading up to free agency began, a lot of reports were saying that actually the Lakers were not only in the running, but they were the top contender to actually get Kawhi. So a lot of fans got extremely excited. A lot of people got their hopes up. But at the end of the day, Kawhi Leonard actually ended up just stringing us along before ultimately deciding to team up with Paul George, force Paul George to demand a trade from OKC and go play for the Los Angeles Clippers. Now, a lot of people were saying that the Lakers played a huge risk in waiting for Kawhi during free agency because they missed out on a lot of other top free agents, a lot of other talented guys that they could have signed. So obviously, the Lakers knew, you know what? This is for a guy like Kawhi Leonard. We're going to play this risk. But a lot of people were saying, do they even have a plan B? Do they have anything to fall back on if Kawhi doesn't pick them? And not only did they have a plan B, but in my opinion, they executed that plan B perfectly. And that plan B is actually looking better than their original plan A of signing Kawhi Leonard. They were able to fill out their roster with a lot of really talented, top-notch players. Guys, I'm extremely excited about and honestly, Honestly, I believe that we are going into this season with one of our deepest teams the Lakers have ever had and honestly one of the deepest teams in the NBA. I am super excited about it. But this would not have been possible had Kawhi Leonard decided to join the Lakers. So today we're going to talk a little bit about why Kawhi deciding to turn down the purple and gold and join the Clippers was actually the best case scenario for the Lakers and their future. Not even just this season. But before we do, I want to take a quick second to remind you guys to make sure that you are subscribed down below to Chat Sports here on YouTube and the new Chat Sports Lakers YouTube channel as well. It's going to be an extremely exciting season for us Laker fans. So I want to make sure that you do not miss a single second of it so that make sure you are subscribed down below. But let's have a little reality check on Kawhi Leonard before we kind of talk a little bit about the Lakers roster this season because people are saying that Kawhi Leonard is the best player in the NBA. And don't get me wrong, he is an outstanding player. He's one of the best players, but he's not the best player in the NBA. Looking at his career averages, he's averaged about 17.7 points per game, six rebounds, three assists. Those are good numbers, but those are nowhere close to LeBron James' stats for his career. Yes, he is coming off, you know, a year with Toronto where he played amazing. He was the NBA champion. He was a finals MVP. But he also had a very talented supporting cast around him. There, he had a team that featured, you know, Kyle Lowry, Danny Green, who the Lakers now have, Marcus Gasol, and a lot of other guys that really were able to contribute to that championship as well. So even though Kawhi had this amazing season last year, he won the NBA championship, is he really the best player in the NBA? I don't know. Do you guys think that Kawhi Leonard is the best player in the NBA? If you do, type Y down below. If not, type N down below. Another thing with Kawhi that I do also quickly want to mention is the fact that he has suffered throughout his career with a lot of injuries. He's only had two seasons throughout his eight NBA seasons played where he has been able to play in 70 or more seasons. Last year for the Toronto Raptors, he played in about 60 games and that's including the playoffs. So how he's going to be able to bounce back this upcoming season is going to be interesting because, you know, for a guy who is generally very injury prone, suffers through a lot of injuries, to have gone through a very long, you know, physical taxing season on his body it's going to be interesting to see how he's able to bounce back and if he's going to be able to even stay healthy this season at all now let's talk a little bit about what it really takes to win a championship and why the Lakers are actually in a better spot to do so this season than they would have been if Kawhi was a part of this Lakers team but before we do if you like sports betting and you want to win a free NBA jersey direct message me right now on my Instagram at Hannah Rose Kulik or my Twitter at Hannah 
underscore Kuligan. I will let you know how you can win a free NBA jersey. It is so easy, you guys. I am so grateful to our sponsor, MyBookie, for letting me have this opportunity to give away all of these jerseys. We've given away so many already, and I want to make sure that you do not miss out on this exciting opportunity to be able to rock the purple and gold or whatever other team you want to rock this season. So let's talk now a little bit about what it really takes to win an NBA championship because in my opinion and from what every year you know year before this has proved is that what it really takes is to have a talented fully complete deep roster now yes you know the Lakers back in the day had Kobe and Shaq but they also had Derek Fisher Rick Fox Robert Ory, Brian Shaw and a lot of other guys who really contributed to their success and their championships as well Golden State you know obviously had Klay Thompson and Steph Curry but they also had Andre Iguodala, Draymond Green, David West, Harrison Barnes, a lot of guys who also really did step up, especially come playoffs, and really played major roles in their success and in their championship. So at the end of the day, if the Lakers would have signed Kawhi Leonard, they wouldn't have been able to fill out their roster and create as much depth as we now have. It's actually funny because before reports even made Kawhi an option for the Lakers, a lot of people were actually feeling that the Lakers should actually use their max cap salary to sign more role players, create more depth to the roster, over going out and signing a third star. But of course, once the media said that Kawhi wanted to come and play for the Lakers and that the Lakers were, you know, in the top spot to land him, all of that got thrown out the window and suddenly it was Kawhi or bust. And if for some reason the Lakers weren't able to sign him, then they would be in trouble and we would be in for another long season, which doesn't really make a lot of sense to me and just goes to show how crazy this media is and how they can just blow so many things out of proportion because the week before when the Lakers traded for Anthony Davis, they were all of the sudden the favorites to win the NBA championship with just AD and LeBron. But suddenly now, a week later into free agency, if they do not bring a third star to LA, if they do not sign Kawhi, then we're going to be in for another long season and who knows what's going to happen next year. Really makes no sense. But at the end of the day, Kawhi not being able to come or Kawhi not deciding to sign with the Lakers was the best case scenario because had we signed Kawhi, we would have only had one mid-level exception to sign a player to about four and a half million dollars. Then we would have had to just sign a bunch of guys to these veteran minimum deals and who knows who we would have been able to get for that. We may have still not been able to address a lot of the issues that we needed to address. We definitely wouldn't have been able to sign guys like Danny Green, DeMarcus Cousins, Quinn Cook, JaVale McGee, even Alex Caruso, you guys. Alex Caruso, we would not have been able to sign on this veteran minimum deal. So who knows what would have happened. It may have been pretty darn bleak for us Laker fans if we actually signed Kawhi. We definitely would have had no supporting cast, not especially the supporting cast that we are going into this season with. So I'm curious, what would you have rather had the Lakers do? Sign Kawhi or fill out their roster and create some more depth and go into this season with the lineup that we have and the players that we have? If you would rather have had them sign Kawhi, type K down below. Or if you would rather have to have them sign the depth that we got this season, type D down below. Now, like I said, the Lakers not only had a plan B, but they executed that plan B perfectly. And in my opinion, their plan B is actually looking like better than plan A of originally signing Kawhi. Now, a lot of people and a lot of reporters who were saying the Lakers took a huge risk waiting through free agency for that whole week to see if Kawhi would end up coming. They risked out on a lot of top other free agents and a lot of really talented guys that they could have signed. But at the end of the day, I think the Lakers got all of the guys that they really wanted to get. And a lot of these players were kind of waiting it out as well to see what Kawhi would do. A lot of their future was kind of waiting on Kawhi as well. So the Lakers missed out on some of the players, yes, but they also didn't risk it and really missed out on signing guys who got kind of these crazy big contracts. Seth Curry, Bogdanovich, a lot of these guys got these big contracts and I don't think the Lakers were interested in giving them that much money anyway. So I don't think they would have been interested in signing those players really anyway. But the players that we did get, you guys, we got Danny Green, a guy that I was so excited about, a guy that I desperately wanted the Lakers to get a perfect 
3 and D type of player that the Lakers have desperately needed for so long. We got Avery Bradley, another extremely talented guy who's going to be able to help a lot with this team. We got Quinn Cook, who was really successful as Steph Curry's backup in Golden State. We got DeMarcus Cousins also, who I personally just kind of think that the Lakers signing DeMarcus Cousins, we got our third star because DeMarcus Cousins two years ago was an NBA All-Star. He was really on the rise before tearing his Achilles and I think he's going to come back this season with a vengeance. He is in amazing shape from every report and every interview I have seen. He seems really dedicated to this season. He seems determined to play hard and he's excited to be a Laker and at the end of the day all of these players that we signed are excited to be Lakers and Kobe Bryant said it best. If I have to try to convince you to want to come play for us then you're not the guy for us and all of these guys are not only do we not have to convince them to come and play for the Lakers but they are excited to come and play they've made sacrifices to come and play for us and I am extremely excited for this season but not only did we sign some really talented players address a lot of the issues that we needed to address i.e. shooting which is great to see that the Lakers learned from their mistake last season and really fill up this roster with talented shooters and pieces that really compliment LeBron nicely and Anthony Davis nicely, but we are also set up for our future because a lot of these guys, most of these guys that we signed, we signed to two year deals, which means that in two years, the year 2021, we will have enough money to sign a max free agent. And that is the year that Giannis, the Greek freak is going to be available and the Lakers may be able to pair him up with Anthony Davis. So, so yes, while the idea of having three stars play for the Lakers in next season was exciting, at the end of the day, it has been proven that what really wins championships is having a deep roster. And the Lakers definitely have that going into the season. And not only do we have an amazing team team of talented players this season and the next season but in two years we are in amazing spot to sign Giannis the Greek freak and bring another star to LA to team up with Anthony Davis once LeBron James retires so our present is looking good our future is looking even better that is going to be it for today's video you guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe here on chat sports in the new chat sports Lakers YouTube channel don't forget to give this video a double thumbs up if you liked it follow me on Instagram at Hannah Rose Kulik and on Twitter at Hannah underscore Kulik. And until next time, Laker Han is out. Bye guys.